hi you guys sorry that cut off we're so sorry that was but I really wanted you to hear the end of Laura's interview because she said some things that were really amazing so um, we were just talking about family gatherings and you were saying that your you chose to bring your own food to the family gathering right mm -hmm. and how did your family react the the first Christmas I told them I was bringing my own food and they were all really upset about it and I said I thought family gatherings were about who was around the table not what was on the table and so I said that I am because I was having such great results already I am not going to compromise my health um, so they had to make the decision did they want me there bringing my food or did they not want me there and so we already so you're 103 pounds now and let me ask you do you have symptoms of fibromyalgia anymore none and what symptoms do you have of rheumatoid arthritis none and do you have a, a lust for life and are you or you do you still feel depressed frequently the depression is completely gone i in the morning when i wake up it's like okay i'm ready what are we what am i going to accomplish today i'm loving this like before i was surviving but now i am thriving and i'm loving it and so is there anything there's there any food that you miss enough that you would give up this feeling nothing there's i'm not going back to meat i'm not going back to my my trigger foods I'm not going to eat oil and alcohol and flour because nothing could possibly taste as good as this feels. Health feels great. That's so awesome. And so if somebody is thinking about going whole foods, plant-based, if, if, if they have fibromyalgia, if they have rheumatoid arthritis, if they're suffering from depression, do you think that this is something that other people should try? Absolutely. You, you've got to try it. and. I don't know what your results will be, but can it be worse? I, no. Yeah, and uh, another thing that got cut off on the video that we, was, we didn't realize it was being cut off, but you kind of walked us through what you were eating in a day. So what, what, is, what do you eat for breakfast? What do you eat for lunch? What do you eat for dinner? Every morning I have greens for breakfast, and that sounds like a oh, oh, crazy idea, but it's, it's they're wonderful. <laughs> they're Leafy, dark leafy greens are nutritional powerhouses. So every morning I put a kettle on the stove, add some water, throw in a bag of frozen greens. We can get three different greens in my area, so I rotate the three different greens. And I just steam it for a little while, and I just turn the burner off and leave it there. And then I'm not hungry when I wake up. So I don't eat. You don't eat if you're not hungry. Mm -hmm. And um, I cut up a red bell pepper and set that aside. And then I do my exercise, and then when I start getting hungry, maybe between 11 and 1 o'clock, and then I eat my greens and my red bell pepper because it's all crunchy and sweet. I love the contrast with the cooked greens. And then after that, I usually have a bowl of berries, like blueberries and cranberries, with a quarter cup of oats in it. And that's now it's so late. That's my lunch. And then I have supper. And I'm a one bowl kind of girl, so it'll be like a huge ass salad, um, or it might be like a soup or like a lentil chili or something. But I usually put that over um, raw greens because cooked food you can eat too quickly and then you don't feel like you've eaten anything, so you can overeat then. And so I like the chewing. It gives your, your brain and your stomach a chance to realize that they've had enough. And eating greens frequently, I mean, that Dr. Esselstyn says that he likes his people to eat greens like six times a day or whatever, you know. Right. So that's even more greens. I love that tip. That's an amazing tip. Also, if you add corn, like um, if you have chili, throw in some corn because it takes longer to chew the corn and you won't eat the chili so quickly. Yes, and I have trouble with that. I have trouble with my yummy starch, you know, not eating <laughs> too much of it or eating it too quickly and everything like that. Well, my favorite starch because um, the greens are like your, your the bulk of your food is the, the vegetables and the fruits but you're getting the most calories from the starches and you need a certain amount of calories. And so um, beans are my favorite starch. I have beans, at least a cup of beans every day. It's either in my salad or in my soup or chili. And who are your favorite like whole food, plant-based doctors or like who who got you started or what did you, re what did you find first? Well, I started um, 
Dr. Furman's Eat to Live, that yeah. book. Um, I read that and the science made sense. And it was a PBS special I saw, and after Furman was Dr. Bernard. And he was, he was Dr. Like, Neil Bernard, Physicians Committee for Responsible right. Medicine. And it made sense, so I tried that, and then through them I discovered, you know, Dr. Dreger's nutritionfacts.org. Everyone should be yes, that's like my on main that site. source for um, and yeah. my, of course, well, what is it? McDougal, Dean Ornish, his um, talk about the spectrum. Yeah, and eating more, eat more, weigh less. Who doesn't right. like that? That's kind of how we eat. You know, we eat a high volume of food, but like low calorically density caloric density. There's never a reason to go hungry. There's no measuring. There's no calorie counting. You eat when you're hungry, you stop when you're full. And you don't eat when you're not hungry, right? right. Exactly. And we don't change the, we don't worry as much about the amount that we eat. It's more eat like what we eat. Yeah. Uh, it was so cool at the conference seeing these plates heaped high, like tiny little people eating huge <laughs> volumes of but but of what of salad and potatoes and rice and beans and corn and mm -hmm. salsa and we had beautiful fruit and the food was great i thought the oh, food at the conference was amazing it was abundant and like you said it was just fun to look at the table and how much these other like skinny little people uh -huh. it just almost seems like the smaller they are the, the bigger the, bigger the plate yeah. <laughs> yeah it was amazing and um, we had some we had some awesome speakers, Dr. Saunders, Dr. Lyle, Dr. Um, Goldhammer, and um, JP and and um, AJ. Yeah. And all those people do have videos like on YouTube and such. And so lawyer them like there's so much yeah, to absolutely. learn from these people, and it's so interesting. Yeah, if you're just getting started, I would say look for all of those doctors, you know, videos and and um, and books and stuff, and just educate yourself, right? Knowledge, knowledge really is the key. Um, yeah, the more you know, the better you do, I think. Absolutely, Laura, thank you so much for letting me interview you, and I'm well, so excited you. that I got to meet you in person, and I just I just thank want you, to give Laura. you a big hug. Love you guys. I'm going to bring you more videos of awesome people from this conference. And until then, I hope you have a great week. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.